Hello guys, can anyone tell me it's been how many years since independence of India? 75 years? Oh, that's a very long period. So I think for now people must be getting their basic rights fulfilled and every single individual is leaving with food, clothes and shelter at least, right? No? What? Are you guys surprised about it as well? Well, you should not, because anyhow or the other, we all are aware that we are sharing the same sky with a group of people who are actually not getting their basic necessities fulfilled. Literally, those basic necessities include food, shelter and cloth, which a lot of privileged people like us tend to ignore it most of the time and be ungrateful about it while there are these group of people fighting for it every single minute. And these are the group of people who are the most vulnerable in the society. And because of their vulnerability, they often get abused and taken advantage of by the people in power. Now coming to people in power, let's talk about the police officers who have actual and real power to maintain law and order and give justice to everyone. By everyone, I did not mean just the upper class people, but literally everyone who is a citizen of this country. But are they really doing so? Ask it to yourself. We have all seen movies like Singham where police officers are romanticized and shown as some god figure and nobody is denying that there are some good police officers out there. But who is going to show the brutality that these same police department do against vulnerable group of people? So the movie Jai Bhim, which got released on 2nd of November, managed to showcase the ground reality to the audience. Hello everyone, this is Sai Shri and welcome to Bollywood Bug. Today I'm going to review the movie Jai Bhim. But before that, if you guys are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from us. Now without any further delay, let's get started. Jai Bhim is basically a legal drama film released on 2nd of November and directed by TJ Ganeville and produced by 2D Entertainment. The film got released on the OTT platform that is Amazon Prime and the running time of the movie is 2 hours 44 minutes. The film stars Surya with Prakash Raj, uh, Rajisha Vijayan, um, Lijmol Josh, Rao Ramesh and K Manikandan in supporting roles. Based on a true incident in 1993, which involves a case fought by Justice K. Chandru, it follows Sengini and Rajakannu when uh, Sengini is the person who seek the help of Chandru to find and save her husband. Now let me give you a synopsis of the movie. The solidly performed and frequently disturbing movies is set among the Irula uh, tribe in Vilupura. Dirt poor and without the official documentation needed to qualify for welfare schemes, the tribals which include Rajakannu and wife Sengini exist at the mercy of wealthy and influential overlords. Rajakannu and two of his relatives are framed in a robbery uh, keen of delivering a case close status report to their bosses. A bunch of police inspectors led by Guru Murthy make every bone-breaking attempt to get the trio to confess to a crime they did not commit. In Chennai, the leftist lawyer Chandru has emerged as a thorn in the side of the establishment when Rajakannu and his relatives go missing from the custody and uh, the police claim that they have escaped, Chandru files a habeas corpus petition on behalf of Rajakannu's wife Sengini. Now let me tell you what habeas corpus is. The literal meaning of habeas corpus is you shall have the body. That is, the judge must have the person charged with a crime brought into the courtroom to hear what he has been charged with. Jai Bhim unfolds as a part legal drama and part investigative thriller. Chandru doubles up as a detective in his quest to unravel the mystery of the disappearances. The stakes are raised when the Inspector General of Police, Perusal, uh, Perumal Swami, is taken with, the le uh, with leading an inquiry into the Chandru's uh, allegations. 
So let me tell you uh, that direction and screenplay of the movie was just amazing. The filmmakers tried to make it look as realistic as they can and were successful in showcasing that as well. The actors did such a great job that it felt like the role was written for them only. Everyone's acting was so real and natural that I can't even pick one or two person that they were the best because literally everyone in the movie did complete justice to the role they played. The cinematography of the movie was uh, focused on showing the reality as much as they can and were successful in it as well. And thankfully, there was no unnecessary song or forced love story brought up in the movie. Now, talking about what I liked and disliked about the movie, I would say that the first thing I liked about the movie is that the movie makers were brave enough to bring up this topic. And I'm not calling the movie brave because the scenes of brutality and all, but more than that, they were able to explicitly mention the name of the upper caste clearly due to whom these vulnerable people are violated. Next, the ground reality was shown loud and clear. The director skillfully projects how the marginalized people land in wrong cases. The courtroom drama was not romanticized uh, much and was shown as realistic as possible. The movie captured the custodial torture uh, sequence in a complete raw manner. So basically, the performance and the, rea uh, the realistic setting are the main highlight of the movie. And story, of course, without any doubt, was the main factor because of why the movie stood out from the crowd. There were barely any demerit I found in this movie. But besides all these merits, let me address the elephant in the room. Jai Bheem, if anything, is a sad yet necessary addition to the long list of films about oppression that if you come to think of it, may not transcend beyond the OTT crowd and reach its primary source audience. In this case, in this movie, the largely ignored Irular community. Are we fake congratulating ourselves by just giving them mainstream attention? How do we iron out this disparity? Yes, the movie is important and the issue needs to reach to the wider audience. But is it reaching out to people who need to watch this? We need to think about that. Because if you see in the movie that these vulnerable people are mostly unaware and uneducated about the rights and freedom they have. That is the main reason why they get violated often. So if this kind of movies reach out to them, they will know and be aware how to proceed with law and order if their rights are getting violated. So now coming to the final verdict, I'll rate this movie a 5 on 5 because I personally loved it. So do let us know in the comment section what you felt about the movie and my review on the movie as well. And if you like this video, then don't forget to like and share it. Thank you for watching this video till now and I'll meet you again in another movie review video. Till then, stay tuned and stay safe.